COVID-19. COVID-19 was one of the most craziest time in our lifetime. Every time you violate the regulations the government has issued or try to get around the rules, you are putting yourselves and others at risk. <laughs> At least in my lifetime. I mean, we were scattered all over the place. Scared to shit like we are. Scared. Not knowing what's happening, what's going to happen, what's the future will be. Some of us even started thinking about the end of the world. You know, I was sitting with ideas. I was like, what if I go to the ATM and no money comes out? I actually walked, I remember that day, walking a distance of about three kilometers to go find an ATM because there was no taxis available. And I put my card in the ATM, no money came out. I was frightened, like, oh my God, like ideas of apocalyptic movies and stuff. Like, what are we gonna do now? So crazy stuff, interesting enough. Today we're finding out things that we never thought we could have found out. They're talking very openly about what's happening with the vaccine, okay? Let's watch. For emergency crews like this one, responding to heart problems is a matter of life and death. We've just been called out to a report of a cardiac arrest at a convalescent hospital. Since the COVID-19 pandemic began, LA County paramedics say they've been busier than ever with calls like this one, transporting a cardiac arrest patient. Wow, did you hear that? Since the COVID-19 pandemic, this whoever place in America have been complaining about the raises of cardiac arrest situation related to the vaccine. Let's watch. County health officials have tracked notable increases in cardiac arrests and heart attacks since the pandemic began. And experts say it's part of a broader trend. Crazy stuff, okay? So they're noticing, you know, very often they don't talk about this type of thing, okay? They will stay quiet and not say a thing about it. It's gotta be something really big for them to get to a point where they can talk about it openly like this. A national study from Cedar sinai Hospital shows that deaths related to heart attacks increased across every age group since the spring of 2020. Wow, the death across all the board increased since the spring of 2020. What happened between that time to now? But the group that saw the biggest increase isn't who you might think. Young people are obviously not really supposed to die of heart attack. But the relative increase in heart attack associated deaths among 25 to 44 year olds was a staggering 30 percent. 30 percent increase among people between 20 and 40 years old. That is scary. And the doctors say young people are not supposed to die of heart attack. Let's watch. More than the increase in middle and older age groups, which ranged between 15 and 20 percent. Paramedic Romeo Robles noticed an uptick with each COVID surge in the South LA community he serves. Yeah, surprisingly, like people of my age where we would find them in cardiac arrest. So why the spike in heart problems along with each pandemic wave? Dr. Susan Chang, a co-author of the Cedar sinai study, is concerned about the COVID connection. This is, this is serious, you know, this is very serious. But unfortunately, it feels like nobody's going to really do a legal work in order to bring this to light. It's just going to go to the forgetful, forgetness. Let's forget about this story. But the reality is real. A lot of people were put under pressure, tremendous amount of pressure to go get vaccinated. Remember, many people lost their jobs in many places in Africa. Africa as well. Many places in, in the world, including Africa, many people lost their jobs. They asked, if you're not vaccinated, you're not getting a job. You're going to lose your job. Insurance company, normal shops, normal places. Many people were pressurized to get the vaccine. There's nothing wrong with getting a vaccine. Okay, It becomes wrong when they force it into you. I believe people are adult enough to make their own decisions. I still believe that. And unless you prove me wrong, which in this case, we're seeing something completely different. Many people were forced to take the vaccine, not because they really wanted it, because they thought about their families. How am I going to feed my family? I'm the only breadwinner in my family. I'm the only person that brings money. So if I do not get vaccinated, I'm going to lose my job. How am I going to do with a family of six or five or four? Crazy. There are a lot of things that COVID can do to the cardiovascular system. It uh, appears to be able to increase the likelihood of blood clot formation. It seems to stir up inflammation in the blood vessels. It seems to also cause, in some people, an overwhelming stress that can also 
cause a spike in blood pressure. Experts are still working to figure out why young people are so impacted. But Dr. Chang says it may be related to higher viral load exposure or an excess immune response. In wow. Why are younger people getting, you know, falling around? No, doctor, there is justification to it. For them, the reason why this is happening to young people all of a sudden, heart attacks, because when they get COVID, they have a higher viral load exposure or excess immune response in stronger immune system. Let's just take the excess immune response in stronger immune system. So your immune system is so strong, it fights so hard, it gives you a heart attack. Now, it's not the vaccine that you took. That's the reason, you know? The reason why you get a heart attack is not the vaccine. You were fine just before. But because your, your immune system is so strong, it fought and it, <laughs> it's gave you a heart attack. <laughs> Congratulations there. Stronger immune systems. Studies show COVID-19 is also linked to... Just remember that it's not conspiracy, but... People get kickbacks in many situations, okay? Let me just put it this way for you. COVID-19 was a tremendous opportunity for business for a lot of people. It's not a lie. The treatment you get from hospital, it's great. Doctors have the will and also they, they sign consciously to help people, to help human beings, at least most of the side of the world. America is a bit different. But you must remember that the industry of medication is still an industry. It's an enterprise. It's a business. And the business sole purpose is to make money. And I'm not saying there aren't people with good art. A lot of them are. But the investors, the billionaires that make money, that push money for research and stuff, they need to make a revenue. So because they're powerful and they need to make a revenue, they don't want anybody to come and question them when they have not made their revenue. And because you have so much amount of money, it becomes pretty easy to push those and to contact the right people. So you know, to suppress some sort of ideas. You remember those people that were shamed on TV? It was a bunch of doctors with a Nigerian lady amongst them saying, no, nah, this is not the reason. You remember how they were shamed? They were called name. It's insane. Now we're seeing young people getting heart attack. Just like this lady said, this doctor said, young people are not supposed to be getting heart attacks. What happened? To a rare condition called myocarditis, the inflammation of the heart muscle itself. It can strike even young, healthy students like Demi Washington. Okay, let's stop this nonsense, okay? Basically, this is what it is. They have noticed that a lot of young people are getting heart attacks now. From 2020 to now, tremendous amount, about 30% rise among a group of people that never really had heart attacks in the past. They're trying to see what the common denominator, it's the vaccine. According to them, I'm not saying it. They said you, we washed it together. But some doctors are saying, no, it's not really the vaccine. It could be, you know, the immune system for it's too strong. That's why you're a heart attack. So it's up to you to use your little brain because you don't understand. You don't know what science is. You have no idea what common sense is either. So let's just go with the human system was too strong. So that's why all these people fell. I mean, they never had any issue with the human system in the past. Just after they took that pick, then they, they yeah. Again, many people lost their jobs, lost opportunities pushed away from their jobs because of this. And everybody that wanted to not get vaccinated was treated like an idiot. Remember that, don't never forget that. You were, if you were not vaccinated, you were probably treated like an idiot. And most people that got vaccinated at this superiority complex, like, look at this idiot, they don't understand the world. They don't understand science. Well, science needs some logics too. Science needs some understanding, some cooperation, or else we can't all go in the same way blindly. What if things break? We all break. We need some resistance. If, even when we write, we need a level of resistance. Interesting. Let me know how you feel about this. Have you perhaps, do you know somebody in your family that after doing this, his health completely changed? Because we hear a lot of stories. Somebody that was very healthy, very strong, even senior citizen, very healthy, strong. But after they did that, the health just deteriorated. So I want to know from you, how do you feel about the situation? Number one. Number two, do you know anybody, a family related or a friend, that whose health changed completely after taking them? Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. Remember, this is not about me speaking to you. It's about us sharing. And also, fellas, YouTubers, let us know that most of you watch videos, but you're not subscribed to the channel. I'm sure if you like our videos, I would ask you to kindly subscribe so we can be together and push forward. God bless.